describe to somebody like why who Jay Dong was, if they had no clue who he was, how would you describe Uncle Louis? Uh, Jay Dong is a player. Yeah. <laughs> Jadong has always been kind of a surreal experience for me in the sense that I watched him play for years and years and, and it was always like a oh Jadong's playing, like a, a rush home, you know, triangle, being ting, like Jadong's playing everybody, Jadong's playing, so we'd like run in from the fields. I mean to put it in perspective, I've known about, I've worked with Jadong for six months, I've known about Jadong for one-fourth of my life. My first Jadong memory was probably when he won the Ever 2007 OSL, I believe that's what it was called. And uh, that was just when I started getting into Brood War. And he was basically the first finalist I ever watched, so he was the first Zerg that I really became, you know, really fond of. My first memory of Jadong is actually a really, really good story. Um, he was a young chap playing on the PGT ladder in Brood War and he was on team N dot die. He was like 12 years old. I actually beat him. I was like, cool. And then like five years later, he's the best Zerg on the planet. So now I'm like, awesome. Jadong's a lovely human being. Um, I met him at this event. He came up to me actually and said, to Muslim. And I was like, Jadong. And obviously I know he's a brutal legend in the session. He's been on the team for a while, but he made me feel like a human and He's one of the coolest down-to-earth people that I've ever met, but in fact, no buts about it. He's just a really, really cool guy. I am definitely a Jadong fan. I'm a fan of Jadong because he kind of encompasses all that I find really important in, um, in competitive gaming. He's a professional, so he conducts himself at a very high level in terms of uh, he has respect for the game that he plays, he treats the people around him with respect, and he manages to be one of the best players, and at the same time, a really exciting player. And Jadong, in his play, kind of encompasses that. It's always very aggressive, very micro-oriented, very fast. Um, he's a Zergi-like player, so I like him for his aesthetics and style, and I like him for how he conducts himself, um, and then you have to appreciate his success. Probably the most um, kind of special thing about him, or the most amazing thing about him, is is multitasking. Uh, I specifically remember one game in Brood War where it was on uh, Blue Storm and he had two control groups of mutas and was muta microing two control groups and that was something that really, really was awe-inspiring. His playstyle is extremely clean. Uh, just the way he selects units and such, um, there's nothing wrong about how he uses his mouse. Like, he's just the perfect player mechanically. I think when, when he figures out CVP, he'll be the best player in the world. Being on the same team as Jadong means uh, it means a lot for me in terms of career. It's, it's a bit of a milestone. It's like we're here. Um, I mean, Evil Genius has been doing great before him. They'll do great after him. But to have him on the team really solidifies us as a team that's committed to excellence and a team that's committed to um, not just being, you know, the team that everybody watches because we have great personalities, but a team that's dedicated to winning. Because Jadong is, if anything, the embodiment of, of success and victory and winning. I, I haven't sent him to a foreign event that he hasn't knocked him out of the park yet. Uh, he's really gone above and beyond. It's really weird being on his team because I never imagined anything like that would be possible. And on top of that, I'm even like rooming with him, so... It's something that I've never imagined would be possible, especially when I was a little kid and just watching him this kind of like mysterious figure halfway across the world, just owning everybody. I never thought it'd be, happen it'd be possible, but it's really cool. One thing he does like to do is he likes to teach me uh, Korean. I've learned a lot of like random Korean phrases from him. Uh, he's told me how to take, tell people to take their pants off, stuff like that. It's not just that he's a competitor, it's that he, he's also like a, a glue between the players. He makes us feel comfortable and included with this greatness that is Jadong. And, by doing that, he raises it all up at the same time. Jadong just has like this weird aura about him. It's, it's like, it's it's something that like words would just do injustice. Jadong has a lot of swag. Whenever we went to the, we went to a photo shoot in Las Vegas, and you could just tell he was like super experienced with how to look really sexy. If he was in a wolf pack, he'd be the king wolf. If he's in a 
friendship group, he'd be the coolest friend you have. Um, Jadong's the guy that you want to know. You're glad you know. At this event, he was supposed to do a, a signing with one of our, our, our sponsors, and he made it two feet out of the like out of the player area, which is sort of like an exclusive area. Fans can't get in, and he was mobbed to the point where the signing had to be canceled because it, it just he would never be able to make it the extra 200 feet because the line was never going to disappear. So it's 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 just an honor to work with Jayhawk.